third class uh, student we are going to discuss character today different types of characters so we are going to discuss different types of characters at first we are going to get two types of characters uh, it, 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 it might be based on role and, and uh, or it might be based on quality so we are going to get uh, almost 12 types of characters but today i am going to discuss seven characters character based on role uh, it, it takes time to discuss all those characters and first you have to understand usually you are not going to discuss these characters not only in drama rather you are going to discuss all those things in short stories or in novels or or a novella any type of literary genre you are going to get you are going to read all those characters are usually based on these types of role so try to understand all those things uh, so that you are in just second year and up to masters you are going to read uh, hundreds of hundreds of texts and some classics as well they are definitely they are going to ask you to uh, to to let your knowledge understand whether you understand this type of character or not definitely without understanding the characters and their role definitely you are not going to classify them or you would not understand the text when a character is delivering a dialogue you have to understand the status of the character whether whether that character has capability to speak that speak speak up up to that um, up to that uh, witty or uh, knowledgeable ideas something like that the thing is that in in bangladesh indefinitely you are going to get some cheap novels like um, novel uh, I mean, novelist like humayun uh, ahmed or or like or is it imdad lok milon or anishul hok they are so cheap they do not know how to establish a character suddenly they would find a cobbler and a cobbler is talking like a philosopher no that is the bad um, bad style of portraying a character you can you, you cannot do that first you have to establish that the cobbler had some knowledge and where from which source he had he had gathered that knowledge you have to establish it first first or you cannot out of nowhere let the character speak whatever it whatever it wants no that's the wrong way of approaching characters so today we are going to discuss the role only because it's a big idea and one class is not enough but i am going to discuss in two classes definitely in this class i am going to discuss role and in my later class in my next class definitely it would be quality okay so the thing is that type based on role we are going to get a protagonist antagonist deuteragonist tertiary confidently love confident or some say in italian pronunciation it is confident or love interest and foil who, who, who are they how do they play role uh, how do the they play role establishing establishing a novel or a play or an epic or whatever 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 you like so who is protagonist i know you have heard the name but we are going to discuss the idea of protagonist in details then i am going to talk about the relationship between protagonist and antagonist and deuteragonist and tertiary all those things would be uh, would be also discussed but you have to you have to understand the major point of view of protagonist and antagonist because these two characters are going to are going to are, are going to um, enroll or make make the text forward and the tension between the protagonist and antagonist makes makes the audience 
makes the audience or reader more anxious and that means what is going to happen what will happen there are many characters there are many lesser characters in the in a, in a movie or in a play you, you are going to get but you are not worried about them when you are reading sophocles um Oedip Oedip king oedipus all are in trouble the whole theban are in trouble theban people are in trouble but you are really anxious about what is going to happen with oedipus you are not thinking about creon all might die in plague something like uh, nowadays we are in it is this also uh, pandemic coronavirus so all might die but we are anxious about a major character it is oedipus if it happens we we, we hardly think we have, until until the uh, until the text um, gets to its end that what is going to happen to jocasta what is going to what is, what is going to happen to the children of oedipus rather we are really anxious about oedipus these are the thing makes makes protagonist protagonist great and who are they i am going to discuss some characters from um, william shakespeare and definitely some other characters are going to be discussed so we want to discuss first so um, another another thing we have to know that the, there are uh, five types of um, characters we are going to get based on quality in my next class definitely i am going to discuss this okay so we are going to talk about protagonist we are going to talk about uh, protagonist today it, it's it's a greek word you can see the thing here the pattern here gonistes agonistes agonistes means actor or player actor or player or pro 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 means pro means important or past priority hmm? so that means who is the who is the who is the main character of of, of any text or of, or any literary piece is called protagonist there are something uh, written here the uh, can you hear me the line was sir net ko problem korte se yes, yes sir yes I, i i do i do find that it's really troubling but what what can we do okay it's a pro, it's a global problem right now okay the, let's start it again the protagonist of the story is opposed by an antagonist you have to understand that if you if you somehow identify who is the protagonist and you, and then definitely you are going to get who is the antagonist then the face of the antagonist in bangla movie we usually say villain hmm? or something like that yes and in 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 bangladesh definitely we are going to get these types of things in 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 bangla movie usually the hero was shout unnecessarily shout i do not know why and they they usually um, very good at abusing hmm? and we we do find lots of troll in bangla movie the thing is that you are going if you see bangla movie i'm i'm going to switch my is is into bangla for for a while to deliver a dialogue তোমরা দেখো বাংলাতে হঠাৎ করে যে একটা নায়ক চলে আসলো নায়ক এসে দেখছে যে বাসা এলোমেলো বাসাতে মাও নাই বউ নাই বাচ্চা কাচ্চা নাই কাউকে খুঁজে পাচ্ছে না হ্যাঁ এই যে হঠাৎ করে এসে দেখবে যে ফোন হঠাৎ করে একটা ফোন বেজে উঠলো হম ফোন বেজে উঠলো যেমনি ফোনটা বেজে উঠবে তেমনি বলবে হ্যালো ওপর থেকে একটা কণ্ঠ বলবে চিনতে পারছো আমায় এরকম একটা বিলেনি হাসি দিবে বুঝেছো ভয়ঙ্কর এরকম একটা হাসি দিবে হ্যাঁ তখন বাংলাদেশের নায়ক তো খুদাই ইউ রাসকেল খুদাই একটা ডায়লগ দা ইউ রাসকেল তাই এবং বাংলাদেশের দিকে যারা একটা তখন বিলেন তো ও আবার বলবে আহা উঠতে যেতে হয় না যদি তুমি তোমার প্রাণ প্রিয় মা আর আদরের বউকে দেখতে চাও উমু কাটাই চলে যাও হ্যাঁ উমু কাটাই চলে এসো টাকা নিয়ে চলে এসো হ্যাঁ অতএব না উমু কাটাই চলে এসো আর পুলিশ কে যদি খবর দিতে হয় তাহলে বুঝতে হ্যাঁ দিস টাইপ অফ থিং হ্যাপেন এন্ড উই উইথ দ্য স্টার্টিং অফ দ্য মুভি উই আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড দিস ইজ অ্যান্টাগোনিস্ট 
So if we understand their antagonist with the starting of the movie, so that is a failure antagonist. Hmm? That character is a total loser. So if it takes time to understand that it is antagonist, then that is the successful antagonist depicted by the director or the or the playwright or someone else with the starting if we understand with the starting of the text that who is going to be the antagonist definitely it's going to be a loser character okay so we are going to talk about some great antagonist uh, protagonist character so here we are going to talk about hamlet look uh, Ham hamlet this is the scene this is this is hamlet hamlet's mother gertrude this is Hamlet and inside the curtain look look there is a man here can you see a hand here there is someone inside this is Polonius Polonius was killed inside the curtain and Hamlet was thinking it was it was uh, King Claudius was hidden over there but now suddenly Hamlet said oh now a rat dead for a ducat's dead and and, and and the Polonius would be slain. So so all the activities of ha all the here here we, we see Hamlet committed committed uh, he, he, Hamlet killed someone, but we do not hate him. That means we are too much attached, and the readers and the and the audience are too much lingered with the idea of of protagonists that they even ignore the fault of the protagonist protagonist all the time protagonist protagonist um, protagonist are not very strong character sometimes they are weak they can um, even even hamlet he does he does not know how to take decision decision even he was in the midst of dilemma whether to believe his, he believed the ghost or he whether he, are, he was going to commit suicide these types of things that means lots of a protagonist has lots of problems even though we like him that is the charisma of of the of a playwright to portray to portray something such a way so that so that all all, all, all love him in an anna karenina if you read the novel by leo tolstoy that, that is not a good character she has many faults she did all the blunder all through that whole through the text but still the audience loved him. Hmm? and that is that is that is that is the is, is strong point of view of protagonist you have to understand it doesn't protagonist doesn't mean in in fairy queen I, I don't like the text too much, but in Fairy Queen or in earlier text, you are going to get these types of character. He, he was all good. He was all good. He, he, he knows everything. He, know, he knows how to manage all those things. If a character knows everything, that is not character at all. So don't think in this way that a protagonist must not have any fault. He, he, can, he can blunder full through the text. And here Macbeth. Macbeth. If you say Macbeth is protagonist, but um, it is not a good character. Here, 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 it is his wife, Lady Macbeth, is convincing here in 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 this scene is convincing Macbeth to to murder the king, and Macbeth Macbeth was was frequently returning, and he had no courage to kill kill the king it is not easy the king is sleeping no matter what even the sleeping king is also a king it is it's not so the image of king is all powerful even the king is sleeping he was thinking that he was going to kill the king but he he, do, he did not have that courage and that's why here lady Macbeth is encouraging him go so you can see here the protagonist is not too much powerful. He is not too much powerful mentally, and he needs support. And what kind of character it is? We are going to discuss later. Okay, that slide. Here you can see Othello. Othello. All 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 are, all are great tragedy. Hamlet, Macbeth, Othello, King Lear. All are great uh, tragedy. Um, great tragedies. If you read these things. This, this is the 
they are the owner of William Shakespeare. In Othello, here the here the girl is Des Desdemona, wife of Othello. This is Othello. Othello Othello misunderstood Desdemona, and he was think Othello was thinking he was going to kill Desdemona, and Desdemona is pleading, begging mercy. Oh my Lord, do not kill me, do not kill me today, kill me tomorrow. He would also plead, and somehow he would not be convinced. That means. Othello was making mistake and that means the protagonist the protagonist of the character and he definitely he is a tragic hero and he, he, he was committing frequent mistake when his his beloved wife was pleading to him do not kill me at least tonight kill me tomorrow but let me live tonight or let me live an hour but he didn't allow and later he found that he committed a mistake that means these are the these are the pattern of protagonist so do not think that this is the protagonist of the text when you are going to read James Joyce, Evelyn, Araby, Ulysses, these types of great text. You are going to get, they are not, they are not such a protagonist you usually believe in, according to Bangla movie. No, that's not going to happen. In all classic, you are going to, when you are going to read these types of text, definitely you are going to, you, 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 you will find protagonists of comedic mistakes. And here the King Lear, here the, this is the storm scene. King Lear lost everything and he would be in the storm and suddenly he would feel the pain of the common people. So here also the protagonist made lots of mistakes and he, he, was, he was too much arrogant. He was overconfident and for this reason, for this reason now he understood. So I don't have anything. That means a protagonist who was a king and lost everything for his for his continuous blundering mistakes and for his arrogance for his overconfidence and he had many many faults so that is the thing still we love king lear we still we weep for the misery of king lear though he committed many mistakes that is the strength you have to understand of the protagonist they are not they are not ordinary they are protagonists they are the they are the central character and definitely whether they are good or bad no problem with that but they would hold your whole attention in oedipus we do also find oedipus oedipus unnecessarily quarreling with teresias quarreling with Creon, blaming uh, blaming jocasta or this or that with the world he does not know what to do, swear by God or this, this or that. That is not the sign of a strong character. He was not mentally strong. He had some weakness. So these are the problems we do face in protagonist. But if you have any tendency to write in your future life, or to write something, do not think that a protagonist is someone who is going to be a very good one. Rather portray it the way common human being should be. If you can you can portray these things like that, definitely, definitely those characters would be more lively, rather rather fantasizing and imaginary and a person of utopian dream. No, that's not going to happen with protagonist. Okay, so we talked a lot about protagonist. So this is now antagonist, antagonist and agonist means actor, anti means against. In it is it is Greek prefix hmm? greek prefix in anti means against so yeah, this is the i little bit discussed antagonist the major thing is that that opposes the story's main character main character means protagonist here something something um, some sentences are written here you would read in your leisure or after this class when you are going to get the youtube link so the major thing is that that opposes story's main character Okay, so here you can see this is the character. This is Othello. I told you a uh, little bit ago, Othello killed Desdemona. Look, this is this is Othello, and this is Iago. And Iago is the main culprit, but in the face, we do not really understand what kind of man it is, but later we discover that he was plotting against plotting against the Moor, Othello was a Muslim Moor, and you can see also the color. He is a he is a black man from Africa. Okay, so 
look here desdemona is very fair so this is this is the combination uh, william shakespeare wanted to wanted to occur the love between a black man and a white woman but a white man does not like it look at his face he does not he he is envious of envious of othello's and uh, othello's status and here he always in this picture also will you find sometimes look, look 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 at look at the face of othello here that means he is thinking something definitely definitely here you he, he got all something some uh, something um, whispered in his ears um, playfully so that so that yeah uh, othello misunderstood this domena so these are the antagonists we, it takes time to understand oh yes and even it takes to understand what kind of villain he is what kind of villain is in in the face of um, othello he was he was his boy luiser but behind he was plotting against him so that he kills the desdemona and he became successful like obviously so here we see that the that that the that the antagonist help the antagonist helps cha helps change the mind of protagonist look here we do find that that is that is that is the that is the power of that is the power of antagonist if we see always if we try to portray always in this way that a character is going to a character is uh, going to going to put themselves in the midst of class between um, antagonist supporting protagonist that is not going to happen every time and sometimes protagonist protagonist doesn't understand in 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 desi movie in the movie of calcutta or bangladesh or indian movie you do find that a hero understands who is his who is his enemy but here an antagonist is such a character it is not easy to understand okay in othello we find that okay okay now we are going to uh, discuss deuteragonist deuteragonist definitely is the secondary character and it, it it is it it has less important than protagonist but just just uh, right right behind the protagonist hmm deuteragonist so in in the play oedipus jocasta is the deuteragonist if you read uh, if you read pride and pride and prejudice uh, if you read pride uh, written by bronte if you read uh, pride and prejudice you would understand jane bennet jane bennet is the deuteragonist so the character who is next to protagonist is is called deuteragonist understood the character who is next to protagonist is called deuteragonist okay now we are going to talk about tertiary character tertiary character is little has little little significance but the thing is that if you put more important to the tertiary character the character tertiary character would be secondary character or or on one of the major characters they would appear they would appear in the text but they they would not put more they, they would not put more importance to the mind of the audience if they began to put more importance to the to the mind of audience definitely they are going to be the secondary character or they are going to be as equal as a major character if you have read, read, if you have read or seen harry potter the movie that the character can you see padda and parvati padda parvati in a dance, dance scene we we have seen them but we do not we do not see them doing many things rather they were dancing with them and they were standing as a student but they they don't have much significance these are tertiary character but tertiary character is important in a sense it it helps it it it, it helps or it moves the text forward in 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 a in a big novels like sarod chandra or sirsandu mukhopadhyay you if you read all those things or um, lord of the rings in big text like that if you read this you definitely you are going to understand that oh yes uh, they are tertiary characters they suddenly appear and 
they disappears uh, they disappear suddenly okay okay confident uh, or confident these types of pronunciation you are going to hear so confident what is what is confident that means this is this is this is a, a portrait from hamlet this is hamlet and this is his friend horacio that means confident is something he definitely he is a uh, he might be a major character or a lesser character no problem with that but the protagonist would share some emo private things with with, with that character some private things he would, he would he would share his love his sorrows his emotion some private things but he's he's confident he is not going to disclose the idea to anyone that means he is going to going to keep the idea secret that is that is that is the speciality of confident if you cannot you if you cannot keep those ideas if you uh, leak those ideas so definitely you are not confident so in in couple of um, couple of plays you are going to see that some confident okay and okay another is love interest love interest usually we do find uh, in um, in uh, novels this is mr darcy from pride and prejudice if you read if you read the movie uh, if you read the novel definitely you would like it but if you if you watch the movie movie you would also like this character mr darcy very moody he loves elizabeth but he doesn't confess he likes to care elizabeth but he doesn't confess that means uh, sometimes sometimes these these types of characters had affection towards some other 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 character opposite sex so in romeo and juliet you are going to find this so this is this is not a big deal if they had some tendency to make an affair with other so they, that is called love interest and you are going to okay understand now the Strong. Okay. Next one is foil character. Foil character. Um, foil character is is a kind of character that that is that is directly directly uh, talks about the personalities, qualities, or values or motivation to another character. So it's, um, it's it's not necessary a foil character would be major character, but they have some importance on that. So. I I want to ask if you have any question, ask me. I'm not I'm not going to discuss it more than that. I have six and half six and half minutes in my Zoom timing. So if you have any question, ask me. Sir, can you please show the third slide again? I didn't get you. I, I, I didn't. Sir, can you show me the third slide again? Point to the left. Follow the point. This one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, definitely. In my next class, definitely, I'm going to discuss these five characters. Hmm? And that flat character, round character. It is. It is based on quality. It is not based on role. make no mistake this is the based on role what kind of role they are going to play in the text or in the play they are either their protagonist or antagonist or deuteragonist or tertiary that means these are the role so when you are reading reading a text so you definitely you have understood edipus is the protagonist hmm? a deuteragonist and there are many there are many tertiary character over, over there and who is the antagonist of who is the antagonist of uh, uh, king edipus who can say who opposed my question is that who opposed king edipus in the play so tiresias yes tiresias tiresias is a definitely antagonist <laughs> Definitely, Tiresias. Definitely, Tiresias is the 
is the antagonist because frequently he talks against against uh, okay so if you have any question i got in list to do you have any question any more I said, do you have awesome. any question? No. Our uh, electricity is going on. Our battery is charged. We have to go to the next class. Next class, I am going to go to the next class. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you.